Hey, hope everyone's all right. Uh, Russell Exploitation here. Thought I'd do another DVD and Blu-ray update. Haven't done one for a while. I did post a video a week or so ago of my Exploitation collection, so if you want to see that, check that out. But I haven't done a DVD and Blu-ray update for uh, quite some time, so I thought I'd uh, just do a quick video of some of the things I've been buying recently. Uh, first up is the new UK Arrow Blu-ray and DVD combo pack of uh, Mario Barber's Baron Blood. Nice little bit of gothic horror this one, uh, comes in the usual reversible sleeve, nice little booklet, thick booklet in there, Blu-ray on one disc and DVD on the next, nice little film, not one of Mario Barber's best but still a good film nonetheless. Next up we have again Mario Barber's Black Sabbath. Again from Arrow, another nice release from them, loads of special features. Uh, this is a three disc special edition. Um, you actually get, uh, as same with uh, Baron Blood actually, you get two cuts of the film. You get the original Italian cut and you also get the uh, AIP American International cut. Um, and I think, uh, actually I think on Baron Blood you get three cuts I believe. I think there's just a standard European English language version as well. But... Um, yeah, some really nice features on here. Booklet in this one is really thick. I really like this. Such a thick booklet, that one. Um, really nice release. Good film. Nice picture transfer on that, so I'd recommend getting that one. Next up, we've got the new Django Unchained Steel Book. This is the UK Steel Book. Not sure if this is out in the US or in Europe, um, but thought I'd give this a whack. Good film. Saw this at the cinema, so... Uh, Looking forward to seeing that again, good film. I like, I like spaghetti westerns anyway, and obviously this is Tarantino's homage to uh, all the spaghetti westerns from the 60s and 70s, so uh, great film. Next up we have another little one to go in my Australian collection. This is The Survivor, uh, starring Robert Powell uh, and Jenny Agutter, uh, directed by David Hemmings. Um, based on a novel by, I think it's... Uh, uh, I can't remember. He, oh, see, he's famous. Uh, oh, James Herbert, uh, based on his novel. Uh, I've heard sort of mixed things about this one. Some people say it's quite good. Some people say it's not. It's got a bit of a little kind of a final destination uh, feel to it. Um, so yeah, I'd give that one a go. Uh, as I say, this is on the uh, UK uh, Prism Leisure label. So this has been out for a while. Just haven't picked it up. So uh, it's a good one. This is a one I had ages ago, but I sold it for some silly reason. That I thought I'd get it again, which is uh, Jackie Chan's Police Story 2. Uh, I've been watching quite a few Jackie Chan's recently. Um, this is one of his better ones. This is the old Hong Kong Legends uh, DVD uh, out of the UK. Um, it's out of print now. Um, Hong Kong Legends folded a few years back and they, become, they became Cine Asia. And some of the titles were re-released under the Cine Asia banner, but this is the original Hong Kong Legends one. Uh, got both the English language and dubbed version, uh, sorry, English language and uh, original Chinese uh, language versions. Some nice features, uh, good commentary on there as well. So uh, yeah, check that one out. It's one of his better films. I think the Police Story films are, are definitely the some of the best films that Jackie Chan ever made. So that's a good one. Nice little one for my Italian collection, Violence in a Woman's Prison, uh, directed by Bruno Mattai. Uh, basically a kind of women in prison film uh, out of Italy. Um, stars Laura Gemza from the uh, Emmanuel films. Uh, this is the old UK Vipco release from years ago. Um, the uncut version. You can get this in other versions. Um, across America and, and throughout Europe and I think there's a nice little hard box edition floating around um, uh, a European version but um, it's quite expensive but I just wanted to get this one because it was relatively cheap so uh, it's not a bad one again another little Italian film uh, The Bloodstained Shadow uh, which is a giallo directed by Antonio Bido who directed uh, Watch Me When I Kill I think this was, this was his final Jello, as he's been out for a while, so this is on Blue Underground. That's worth picking up. Again, we've got Mario Barber's Danger Diabolic, based on the Italian uh, sort of superhero comic or whatever that was out in the 60s. Uh, I think this was actually, at this point, this was actually Italy's biggest budget film. 
Um, so it was uh, a, quite a big undertaking for me. It's a De Dino De, La De Laurentiis production. It kind of has a... If you've seen the sort of old Batman series with Adam West, it kind of looks a little bit like that. It's quite campy in places and that. It's good fun. Worth checking out. You can get it quite cheap. One I picked up cheap the other day in uh, CEX in... Uh, in town, which was uh, one I've been meaning to pick up for a while, so it was quite cheap. I was lucky to find it. Uh, which is the man with a severed head, uh, Paul Nashi. Um, nice little film there where uh, he gets his brain transplanted into uh, a criminal's uh, who's a bit of a sadist and uh, all hell breaks loose, which is nice. Nice little booklet in there, no special features with this one of the Arrows, uh, Arrow Drone releases, so it's no special features really. But um, yeah, nice little one that. Another Jackie Chan I picked up for 50p, I think, or something ridiculous. Uh, who am I? I uh, don't think I've ever seen this one before, so um, I think it's one of the few Chan films I've never seen, so I thought I'd pick that up. Not bad. Uh, the Devil's Sword, Mondo uh, Macabre from the US. Um, this is a nice little Indonesian film. Uh, Mondo Macabre have been releasing quite a few of these Indonesian exploitation films. Um, they, they did a raft uh, of these kind of films in Indonesia throughout the 70s and 80s. Devil's Sword is one of the most famous ones and most people say it's one of the best. Um, absolutely bonkers film this with uh, sort of if you, don't know if you can see it on the front there sort of like a giant crocodile creature which is like looks really fake um, kind of a cross between sort of Conan the Barbarian sword and sorcery uh, infused with black magic and just all out bloody chaos really um, bonkers film really really worth checking out um, yeah get that one great if any of you have seen my Eurocrime collection, uh, then you know that it's a genre I love, near, it's near and dear to my heart. Um, this is the um, <clears throat> brand new release from Rero, Shoot First, Die Later. Uh, Fernando De Leo directed it and wrote it. Um, they are releasing the Fernando De Leo box set number two, uh, I think in June of this year, so it's only next month. Um, but I don't really want that. This is the one I wanted uh, out of that collection. I've seen the other two films in their collection. I'm not so keen on them. So I decided I'd just plump for this. Um, so this is the Blu-ray edition. Uh, have new HD transfer of an original 35mm neg. Picture looks quite nice. This has been floating around for years on bootlegs. Mainly from a Greek uh, VHS. Um, uh, which looked pretty ropey basically so it's really nice to have that released in pristine quite pristine condition basically so uh, yeah and really nice quality that comes in a little slip case as you can see nice cover there actually the cover of the DVD is actually better than the slip case but um, yeah that'll go nicely in my Eurocrime collection Scorpion releasing was humongous part of their Katarina's Nightmare Theatre collection Nice little slasher from the uh, from the early 80s. Uh, haven't picked this one up. Don't, I haven't seen this one before actually, so I thought I'd pick that one up. The Mercenary, which is a uh, spaghetti western, directed by Sergio Cabucci, starring Franco Nero and Jack Palance. Uh, so it says on there, Quentin Tarantino's top 20 spaghetti westerns. But this is the European, I think this is the German edition um, I'm trying to figure the label Kosh Media, um, which I picked up <coughs> online for Amazon. They've been releasing quite a few of these spaghetti westerns, and that some are out here in, in the US, but some aren't. And this is one that sadly isn't out on um, DVD in the UK or the US, so um, well worth picking that one up. It's a good one. Mondo Macabre's Death Walks at Midnight. Uh, this is part of Mondo Macabre's UK collection that came out a few years ago and I think they folded in the UK um, they still release stuff in the US obviously but I think the UK unfolded but this was um, out of print this is out of print now and quite hard to find um, but uh, luckily the guys over at Strange Vice had a few copies so I picked this one up um, you can get this in um, an edition by No Shame with um, the other film in this, uh, kind of the, the sequel or the prequel to this, was his Death Walks in High Heels, uh, which No Shame released in a box set together. 
but that in itself is out of print now and, and quite expensive. You can still get it on eBay and Amazon, but it's really horrendously expensive. Uh, I think the transfers on those are a little bit, little bit better on these, but uh, sorry, than on these, but um, this is still worth getting anyway. So um, it was nice to find that because um, I've looked on eBay for this before and it's been quite expensive, so I got that for a good price. So, well pleased with that. And lastly, uh, Paul Newman's Fort Apache de Bronx, little classic early 80s uh, if you like sort of uh, gritty cop films and that this is one stars uh, got Pam Greer in it Danny Aiello uh, Ken Wall last little cast um, nice little gritty cop thriller uh, and that's it really that's uh, all I've got for now um, I'll post another video soon and um, I hope everyone's alright and uh, if you want to leave a comment please do okay see you all soon take care